Yo, what up? Serious Q and A session with my Uber for the one time. Hey, you hold your Uber, bro. The young. I I used to be I used to be a YouTube sensation. I gotta do Uber. Where we going? Bro, we we on a we on a trip. Jamie always got it freezing in here, bro. Yeah, I, I want to see your nipples in here. How high they are? I see. <laughs> What's up? Chilling. You know, this guy that owns a porch is kind of sus. He was, he was just looking at me and like walking over, looking at my plates. I'm like, well, God, actually, what? yeah. Hey, it's, wow. ho it's Hollywood, bro. I'm not surprised. Let me go. Oh, you see? What a bum. He from beside me. So he came up with this idea after we did that one video. What? The podcast thing you wanted to do in the car. I came up with this idea. We're going right here. Oh yeah. What you mean? How'd you come up with this idea? You, see, you tweeted this. You said y'all would like this podcast. Of me riding in the car, you said, didn't we do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it wasn't necessarily a podcast. It was more so like, even from the beginning, like when I first started the vlog channel, yeah. like I would just sit in my car and I would talk about life. Did you update, um, yeah. Did you update YouTube? How you doing? Yeah, I always put it up. I would just have my, so it was like when I was in college, I would have my iPhone and I would just, it'd be called Just My Thoughts. Like T H O T S? Thoughts. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would just. I want you to spell it out when I say it on the video. All right. T -H -O -T like handwritten. <laughs> but yeah, so that's where that came from. It was just more so the people want me to get on camera and just vent. It wasn't really a podcast. I have good questions but, for you, actually. Okay. Let me be honest. Yeah, no, I mean, that's what this is. This is not going to be edited. It's just straight to the point. You guys haven't, well, you newer people, all the older people that, I don't know what y'all are doing. Old gang. We yeah, building. I mean, that last video got 30K. I that was the good days. Bored, though, right? But uh, that was like in our prime. Yeah. People don't know in our prime how it was. Yeah, you guys don't know in the prime because the prime of this was like, I went to the mall with Jamie and it got 225,000 views, so. And like... Like a little bit of a time. Yeah. In a two days. That video was pretty crazy. Though. You know, you went ahead and just showed some love for the one time. Got you uh, five chicken no racing. Damn, I can't even open it. Let's see. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't, you just don't know. I mean, people don't know who I am. I'm Jamie the Great. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Tell the new viewers. Yeah. Why don't you have the gorilla pot anymore? I do. This it's is upstairs. Better? This is just lighter to carry around. Okay. Okay. Is the mic on? Yeah. So everything's recording. Basically, um, for those of you that are newer that are watching the vlogs, you don't know. I started this channel a year ago. I have 154,000 subscribers. I know a lot of you guys always ask me, hey, Mike, why aren't your views matching up with your subscribers? Blah, blah, blah. Well, originally, when I first started the vlog channel, everything was really booming. This was, was a year ago? Sorry. This was like two years ago. Yeah, two years it's, ago. Time has, has flown by. I've known you for like at least two. Yeah. So time has flown by. You know, I first, when I first got to LA, I actually met Jamie and we hung out a lot. He's a good friend of mine. And I, we were popping, honestly, like in the sense we of- We were the shit. Yeah, like- Dude, views we, were crazy. 100k a video. No, type. I just think the state of where the sneaker YouTubers was at yeah, was, was up there. If people don't know me, here's a brief thing. I used to run with Kais Omar. We were like best buds, and we would record a lot of sneaker shit. I would work at Riff LA, and then I worked at Mac Park. Um, so if you guys go back to the old Crew Kicks videos when he's in the back of. Riff LA, all that was through me and stuff like that. And when he went to Mac Park was when I left Riff and I went to Mac Park. And then you came about roughly on my second, no. Yeah, second month at Mac Park. You came through the Fairfax store. Mm -hmm. I knew who you were. We never met because I didn't like really like talking to people. Yeah. And then you came up to me. I was getting a fruit. Mm -hmm. on Fairfax and you put the fucking camera in my face and she's like, yo, and I was like, yo, oh shit, it's Mike. When did we become friends with Mike? That's what he said. <laughs> I know, I said, what did we say? What so you said, you're like, when, when did we meet Mike? Or yeah, when did we become friends with Mike? Because Mike was like, he was one of the top sneaker YouTubers. Yeah. It was only a few up there. For sure. What's the gentleman, the white boy, sorry, I don't want to say white boy, but um, 
He was popping. He was like the main one that was popping. At Fulmer? A huh? Fulmer? No, not Fulmer. This is like T. Blake. Oh, yeah. T. Blake. T. Blake was oh, popping. I knew yeah. T. Blake. T. Blake. I knew you. Uh, the homie, yeah, Jason probably. Donar. He just oh, got yeah. engaged today. Congrats. And it was a few people. Like, Blake Linda was not in the picture. This is no, no diss to them. Blake no. Linda wasn't in the picture. Was Blazonary no... wasn't in the picture. Mm-hmm. Um... A Pretty much people, all of those younger kids, they weren't there. They kind of, they were like, like the ones after us. Yeah, they were the I ones. I wasn't even. I didn't even have a YouTube channel. I was just in everybody's channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. And yeah, that's how. We, and then I told you your shirt sucked, and then you're like, "Oh, this guy just met me and just told him my shirt sucked." <laughs> but it was like, I just thought you could do better than that. <laughs> that was yeah, basically yeah. it. <laughs> and now you have Saint Michael, and I'm proud of you. Yeah, it's, it's come a long ways, and this is going to be, like, a great discussion between us. I don't know how long this is going to be, but it's just a fact, like, I'm I'm not really going to edit this. I'm going to edit a few points, and yeah, just like, this is going to be nonstop talking. Like, this is, yeah. I'm not going to do any editing. I do editing. a podcast. So. Yeah, so you know what it is. But, I mean, we originally did Truth or Truth, and it was in a stage of my life where I was really consumed with money and being famous. You know, like, my stuff was popping, like, we I was on, on yeah, I was, all. like, we had, we had, we had a lot of attention on us, mm-hmm. we couldn't have gone anywhere, yeah. everywhere we go, we get noticed, not yeah. to feel cocky, I don't know, yeah, no, this it. was the point where, like, I would go somewhere and, like, actually get swarmed with people, and it was crazy, and we got at the mall, Target, it was everywhere, yeah, so, I mean, now it's very well, subtle, even, but, like, I think we went to get Bobo one time, and we got recognized, yeah. it was weird, no, it was bad, it, I, well, it wasn't bad, no, it was. I'm not ungrateful for it, but it, I was just yeah. not used to it. Yeah, especially and when you think you're normal, but to other people, they're like, "Wow, you're this." I don't know, celebrity status almost. It's crazy. It was people weird. Were starstruck. I, I couldn't even go to the mall with my mom. It was whack. No, but it, you know what bugged out us? It bugged us out more. It was that me and you were really regular. We were like. Like, we didn't give a fuck about the fame and the money and all that. Like, we cared somewhat, but we were not desperate for the likes and the views. It was just us. Yeah, yeah, not at all. Because we kind of, we came from, and not saying anybody didn't come from this, but we kind of came from a, a family-oriented place. So, Mike, how old you were, like, 22 when I met you? No, I was, like, 21. Was it 21? Yeah, I was 21, exactly. And Mike was very, I've been around, I'm not going to say why I've been around it, but I've been around the fame and I've been around money and I've been around it for a long time. So when Mike, me and Mike became friends and he was kind of consumed by that because you were so young. Yeah. And you were from a small town and you've never seen anything like this. Yeah. I grew up in LA. I'm an LA native. I grew up in Silver Lake and RIP to the girl that lost her life at uh, Trader Joe's too. Yeah, Um, honestly. If you guys don't know that, Google that and go to the GoFundMe campaign. But but I grew up in LA, so you came from a small town. So to you, this is fucking new. It's like a sh- culture shock. Yeah. And it was just I want it all. You were very consumed by the money. We became friends, and I, and we had that one discussion in the car, and it was a truth to truth. And you guys are gonna have to watch that truth to truth just to kind of see the development between yeah, all of it. Yeah, link it. Yeah, I will. Somewhere. But, like I think the most important thing is just some of the questions that Jamie asked me at the time versus now are I would have completely different answers. Now you're more mature though. How old are you now? Yeah, I'm 23. I mean, like you're 23, Mike. Almost 24, God bro. God damn it, Mike. I'm, I just turned 29, so I'm an older person. <laughs> I was Not 27 really. Not at the time. So it was like, yeah, two years ago. But um, I feel like so much shit has happened in two years. So much. Life now, changing. But, yeah, it was crazy because I remember at SneakerCon, it was nuts. At SneakerCon, kids lined up for six plus hours to meet. Me, Harris, Kai, uh, I was going to call him Sugar Daddy, Swag and Diddy. Um, Sugar Daddy? Sorry, Swag. And Ackman and YG. And it was fucking weird to me. It was weird. It was crazy. It was nuts. Like, that's when, like, it was at its all-time peak. You know? And, and yeah, me and Kai had a falling out shortly after that. And, and, you know, that's by its own reasons. I really... He has his side and I have my side. And 
it's just the weirdest thing because we never communicated about it <laughs> till like eight months later when it was way too late. Yeah. And then, you know, he was in a different place in his life then. And I don't think the sneaker was that important to him like that anymore. Like it wasn't once where he would do five videos a week, which is nuts. Yeah. I mean, now. I got to give it up to that guy. <laughs> that I was feel like crazy. Hang, I hang out with him a lot more recently. And he seems like he's a lot happier. Oh, now he is, yeah. Well, I had that um, when we were in, in, Vegas. in Vegas for Summer League. Um, I ne- I haven't had a fucking, like, uh, a good conversation with him since, since like, two years ago till now, to that one day. And he seems better. He seems more. I mean, it's a lot. He had a lot of shit going on, dude. Oh, so much. It's, I can't even imagine the, the pressure that the he was pressure, under himself. The pressure, the fucking eyes, the little moves that he would make and... and you know, God bless him, but that shit was crazy. So I don't, I don't blame it. I'm glad he he got engaged. I'm glad he got shit in order. Cause when it comes so, it came too quick, dude. It came overnight. Dude, Crew Kick started in in September, September or August of 2015, and by January it was it was fucking insane. That's the thing. Like, honestly, Kais brought in a whole different level to the sneaker community and only the people that caught on quick enough were the ones that thrived. But oh, then, like Sneaker Hand of Bay, David, yeah, I can't I mean, you. Vlogs, like that, that's why we were really like, boom. There was other guys there. What's his name? Um, fuck, Tony Too Wild, was his name, right? Mm-hmm. Tony Too Wild. I, I, was, I always thought it was Tony as Wild or some shit. Tony Too Wild. Um, the ones that had the thriving vlog channels, though, were... Inspired by Kais, but it was me and Alex. Oh, Alex, yeah. We me, we hung out a lot. You, yeah. me, Alex, and David. Mm-hmm. And me and David look exactly the same. Yeah. But I'm a lot chubbier than him. But no, nah, it was it was different, man. It was it was it was fucking crazy. Yeah. And then I went through a stage in my life where it was just like, get me the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't want to be around anything anymore. It was just it consumed my life. Honestly, to a point where, I could, like, it was just so much stress and, and pressure and everything that it was just like, you got to look like this, you got to look like that. And it was just like, yo, get me out of here. I'm, I'm done. I, c- I could, sometimes you couldn't tell, I couldn't tell if it was fucking Wednesday or Tuesday. Yeah. It was that. And I talked to you plenty of times about it. Like, it was just depress- depressing things and it was bad, but I had to get out of here. I moved to Vegas last year mm-hmm. and it was like exactly almost a year after how crazy this shit was. a year after we met and and you wanted to move out here so fucking bad for like ever yeah i mean there's always going to be that question of if i would have moved at that time when everything was popping where would i be yeah what no i i told you plenty of times not to move here yeah i pushed it to him not to move here it's I'm, a it's I'm an glad. ugly fucking city and I and I I still check up to you at this day. Yeah, and I think it was good that I didn't move at that time because those two years helped me develop myself, my mentality, yeah. and just networking in general. Like I didn't just move out here on like some oh I don't know anyone. No, you did your research. You yeah. came out here plenty of times before you moved out. Yeah, it's, you you even stayed here for like a month. Yeah, I spent a lot of money just trying to figure out <laughs> what the yeah, it was a lot of experimenting of like. <laughs> Like staying from one Airbnb to another and expensive it, Airbnbs too. Not shit. You stayed in Silver Lake for like a few days. That one was <laughs> good. Yeah, but the one with the spiders. spiders yeah. <laughs> and Please. and not yeah, but I just didn't want my friends to go through the same things I was going through. And it's an ugly city. Yeah. And I'm from here, and I love it here. But no. dude, it just fuck. I and, it can and, be. And to this day, we we kind of have bickering. We jab at each other on Twitter and we talk shit to each other, and just cause I, you be like, "Oh, LA is so great," I'm like, "Fuck LA." Yeah. <laughs> but it's just, it's just, bro. Any any positive thing I have to say about LA, Jamie will subtweet me or quote my tweet. I quote it and I tag you, and you you told me what was the last time we got back. into it. What was the last thing we got? Just into yesterday. It? What was it? I don't remember. Oh no no! Actually, it was a couple of days ago about money. Money. It was about oh, money. Oh, about money. Let's well, let's get let's start there. 
Yeah, so we'll get into the whole. But you know what's funny about us talking is that you can actually go back like two years and you can watch all of the vlogs and you can see the story unfold. That's what's funny about all this. Um, that is documented. It, it pretty much is. It's, it's it all. Was, it was amazing. Fuck, where's this shit at? Every part of it. Yeah, I don't know what... It, I can't fucking find it. Either I, way, I already know what I said, okay? So... Basically, I was saying. Oh, <laughs> that's it? what's funny though. When I said sometimes I'm better off just not saying anything. The feelings I can hurt sometimes. People will really hate me faster. And you said interesting, <laughs> same. <laughs> 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 and I was like, Mike, we the same, bro. Sometimes we just get easily distracted on what's the focus and the main goal. I get all like positively. <laughs> and was it two days ago? I don't. Know, I don't see it. Something like that. But it was. It was just. Um, yeah, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad Kai's documented everything. Dude, this, I still go back sometimes and look at vlogs what me and Kai like, hung out and we did. I was like, fuck, we had some good times. And that's, that's the thing. Like, I think it's great to be able to go and look back, but it's also easy to get trapped into, like, damn, I wish I could go back. No. Rather than, no, this is what life is now. Appreciate it. No, no, I do that, but it was just sometimes... No, no, I'm just saying in general for people. Something that I was like, man... I, I mean, I do... Like, I do wish I was more uh, aggressive and trying to fix things when we had the falling out. And, you know, we... I mean, you know, shit happened, whatever, but I wish... It, sometimes I feel like it was my fault. Like, I could have done more. But it's just that fucking ego, man. That ego will fucking kill you and kill everything around you if you let it consume you. Yeah. And you, you've, you heard everything. Mike, God, I feel bad for Mike because I would call him and talk shit for like three hours. <laughs> you heard everything. And, you yeah. know, and there was a point where you text, you know, I'm not going to say what video we're doing, but we're doing something. And you text me and you're like, yo, say what you mean. Say what really happened everything. Because you knew it all, but... It was, it was, it was, you know, yeah, some, no, things were in, some things were in, in line that we, I couldn't fuck up, but now there was a lot, I think there was a hatred towards a lot of things, especially hatred towards myself. I think I did a lot of wrong things. To this day, I fuck up. To this day, I fuck up. I just, you know, I keep it real and sometimes it's not, it's not what you should keep, like you should keep it real on. Sometimes yeah. you gotta be like, yo, you gotta filter it and then say it. Yeah. I feel like an important thing for even you to always try to remember is that you can't be mad at anything you can't control, you know? You can't, I, I said that plenty of you times. Can't, you can't dwell on it, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't. You can't. But I feel like you do. I know I have a lot. I've done it recently. I mean, there's a lot of things that I do. That but there's on. that there's that reach of like, I, I can't control it. So yeah, it's just that one like you try to touch it and you just can't. Yeah, it's, it's like when you're on your dream. Have you ever got dream? Have you ever dreamt of you fighting somebody and you keep swinging but you can't hit them? No, <laughs> like, I don't. Like, like it's just like I'm like punching and can't hit nobody. <laughs> just it feels so helpless, hopeless, and it's just those things. But you know, I I wish I can go back and fix a lot of shit. And not only in like that part of my life, even with relationships. I mean, you know my relationships. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. There's one in particular I can hit the reset button on. <laughs> and I told you that when everything was popping and all this shit was happening, it was great and dandy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know there exactly was one relationship about. that I regret kind of not being, now that I think about it, is not being too aggressive on mm -hmm. to fix things. And I let that one die, and I told you plenty of times, if I had a button to keep my life with the fame and the attention and all that bullshit that was happening, or going back to halfway broke, but being with this person, I would click the other button right away. Yeah. And it just one of those things where I'm like, fuck. I won't do that now. <laughs> but at that time, you know, you the, the kids... We're not kids, but people search and search and fight and fight and trying to gain the fame, the attention, the money, everything. All that glam and luxurious shit. And when you have it, there's that fucking emptiness in your stomach. And you're like, fuck. And it comes down even to like materialistic shit. 
fuck, how many times do I didn't want the Yeezy 2s and when I got them and I paid $2,000 for the black one, I put it on and I felt the same, I was the same <laughs> motherfucker I was. I mean, it just becomes a shoe. Yeah. It just it becomes a bag. It just becomes a car. It's, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's, and like our last tweet, I forgot. I, I, can you pull it up? The whole money thing. That's too far in, but this is, I know exactly what I said. <laughs> what did you say? My concept of it was, when you can find happiness, happiness within yourself, and also have money. That's great. But then Jamie over here wants to try to say, "Fuck out of here." Oh, money, money, blah blah blah. No, I really want to find it because I did go in on you, and I hope yeah. you didn't delete it. No, why would I delete it? I thought you deleted some of the stuff because I, I never it didn't it didn't pop up on my feed. Yeah, my, but my I can't name. edit this, so we got to keep talking while we're looking. Uh, I love. By the way, I love Jordan and his vlog where he put Jamie and Kai's fight in Vegas, which is the oh, greatest thing. The thumbnail was hilarious. <laughs> the thumbnail, because he said, let's do a thumbnail. We, I did the whole thing. Um, where is it at? It to be like, oh, oh yeah, 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 I found it, I found it. But you contradict yourself so much, man. God damn, your brightness is bright on that. You can see oh, the reflection shoot. on your face. All right, all right. So... Where is it at? Oh, right here, right here. Uh, Wait, is this the Fousey tube thing? No, no, that's another thing. You're, Damn, we've been, you're like, he's a genius. I'm like, how is he a genius? He's just a good marketer. And you're like, I'm like, what makes him a genius? Yeah. No, no, okay, so. You're quick to label people the wrong way. I'm no, kidding. I'm not, though. No, this was all one conversation. This all started it? from Fousey in its stem. See, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. Now that's why I couldn't yeah, find yeah. it. Yeah, so it's all. So I said that Fousey was a genius because he's everywhere. He, he has been acting... You said Fousey is a genius. Everyone is talking about him. Mm -hmm. And I responded with... Suck a dick, Mike. Not just playing. I said, so everyone's talking about you makes you a genius. I'm going to yeah. question your shit. Okay. Because that's what friends do. Okay, and, and then... All these fuckers on here will tell you what I'm... In doing. terms of marketing, yes. It's an easy comeback for him. Everybody's watching him. People can, hate. People can hate all they want, but that's not going to affect money. You can leave all the hate comments you want, but and you're still watching. I, I followed up with some good shit. Oh, then he's just a good marketer. And I said, money comes and goes. Shit don't last forever. And you can, uh, shit don't last forever, and you, you can't, can't take, take it, it with, with you. you. And I said, miss me with that. Money comes and goes. Miss if you're me does come and go. Facts. But money I'm, does come and go. But Bitches come and go. J. Cole taught you, us that. Yeah, you can't take it with you. But besides that. If you're money. happy within yourself, plus you have money, sheesh, life is good. Said, you're telling me if, uh, if you're not at the happiest point, I'm personally, I feel very happy with my life right now. Now, if I had bands in the bank, I'm chilling, bro. I think it's more money, more problems, Mike. Oh, it definitely is. So I think, I don't think you The more money you have, the more money you spend. But if you're already happy. Game. But think about it. You're happy with your life right now with what you have. And you don't have the bands in your thing. So yeah. what you don't know how you would be if you would have the bands. That's that's a good point. So it's like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. cool. My, money, money, money is great. Money makes it. And I told you, money makes a difference. Yeah. Drake taught me that. But let's get into, <laughs> we got to go into the next Which of it? your response. You said, Mike, you know, money comes and goes. You've seen it happen before your very eyes yeah, right. with others. Money don't make you. It just makes a difference. I don't know if happiness within yourself next to a bag full of money is really the good life. But to each his own, I see it differently. Yeah. And what did I say? What did you say? <laughs> you didn't read what I said. Number one, the most important thing is to have your own happiness. It has nothing to do with money. Yeah. Number two, having money is great as long as you have number one. But if you, uh, if you know how to properly store your money and what to do with it, you're fine. Yeah, in a way. And it also helps if you're happy. You can be, you can have the most, you can have as much money we've as you want. We've seen motherfuckers, I'm not pointing no YouTubers out, but we've seen a few YouTubers oh, have yeah. a shit ton of money, the big house, 
everything and they don't seem fucking happy. Well, I mean, we've even seen celebrities kill themselves. We've seen yeah. Demi Lovato. I hope she pulls through. Everybody was roasting Demi. I don't know why. Because she just released a song called Sober like two weeks ago. Yeah, I know, but it's just but like... shot some baby girls. Who knows what she's baby. going through, but she you knows she has a bunch of money. And she, she, everybody but has problems. That's what I'm saying. The money, like, I've seen it. I'm not... A, you know who I'm cool with. To each his own. You know who I'm cool with. Yeah, yeah. You know what family oh, I know. I've come from. I already by. know. Yeah. You know, it's like my uncle to me. And that, he's legit, you know, top earner in that. But, okay, music so. Genre. We can't tell you who this person is specifically, but. <laughs> but. He seems happy. He's very happy, but he works his ass off. So I think that happiness comes of the reward of how he gets the money, not just having the money. So he's already happy and he gets the money. That's my point. But that's like one in like 100,000 people. Like, no, yeah, think yeah. about it. One of our favorite, Childish Gambino. Yeah. Depressing music at a point, but he had money and he had the fame and he had everything. Yeah. And we, what did we see him one but time? But he didn't have the happiness within himself. Yeah. But, you know, it's kind of hard hand in hand. We've seen him on, in Silver Lake. Oh, plenty of times. Many, yeah, no, 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 that one first time. Well, we're going House of Pies. Oh, when he was getting sushi? When he was getting sushi, and he looked lonely in the dark, walking by himself, and we're like, yo, and that's one of our favorite artists. Yeah. So it's just like, it's kind of like hard one in a million chances of you having both and being happy. And I just think, you know, money's cool, but money makes a difference, and money comes and goes. Yeah. That's what I said. You've seen it. Yeah. You had, all, you had a lot of money at a point, Mike. True. And you were fucking debating, like, you were not the happiest. Now oh, you, sure. I don't know bad. how much money you have now, but you are Not nearly way, as much. You are now way calmer. You know what you want. You have your girlfriend. You have your mother, your family, your uncle. You know, it's, now it's like, like the yeah, bullshit faded out. You got to go through it to grow through it, though, you know. Shouts to Usher, because I heard him say that once. But it just, you know, it's, um... It's just one of those things where you you kind of I don't you kind of have an internal fight still because you're still young. That you're like, oh money, da 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 da. Ooh, I want this. You know what I want? I want a Louis bag and I want a Rolly. Yeah, I kind of want a Rolly too. <laughs> 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 I put on Jordan's Rolly. It was like I was like, Yo, yeah, this. I need this. It's it's a stupid materialistic item. No, but, but that it's like... that's kind of an investment. So it's like whatever. But <laughs> the Louis bag, yo, okay, peep game. One of my family members, um, they trying to get their own house. They're trying to buy a house. Yeah. And I think it was in the span of four or five days. Span of four or five days. They spent, they're trying to get a house. They're trying to save money. They, you know, there's fights of like, we can't go out and eat because we're trying to save this money. And we don't spend it on this. Don't spend that. We can't go out. Da, 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 da. And then one fucking weekend. They fucking go to the Gucci store and blow about three to four G's. And they come back and they have the shoes with the fucking snake and they have the bag and they have the, the, everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I looked at them and I said, yo, how much y'all spent? She said, well, my bag is like 1200 He's like, my shoes were 700 And I was like, shit. And then later on, they get in a fight about... Like she wanted some type of Italian food. It was a high restaurant, and he's like, "No, we can't do that." We're trying to save money, and then, and then they got in a fight. They separate. They go to both ways, and then she comes back. I'm like, "Yo, y'all spent three to four thousand on Gucci shit that is sitting right over there, and y'all y'all could have spent some money to go out and eat, and still save that money to go buy the house for a down payment. Mm -hmm. It's just the materialistic shit." And when you tell me I want a Louis, a Louis bag, I don't know which one. They're nice. But it's, oh, yeah. you know, more of a Goyard type of guy. But you Actually? Know, yeah, I like Goyard. I like, I like LV, Louis. bro. LV's hard. But, again, like, um, it's the type of thing, like, you want the Louis bag. I, I don't know what Louis bag. Do you want the backpack like Kanye? I don't know. Will it make you happier? No, I... The Rolly's not going to make me happy. The bag's not going to make me happy. Make happy. I'm just saying, I'm uh, being biased because I kind of want one too. Yeah, no. I, <laughs> Shouts I, to Jordan. <laughs> I know for a fact it's not going to make me happy. I just want it. And I feel like it's okay to want stuff. 
As long as you are not trying, I'm not trying to buy this Louis bag. I'm not trying to buy this Rolly to impress people or show my type of success. What I want it for Louis myself. Bag you're trying to get? I'm just trying to get the duffel. That's like 30K, isn't it? Nah, the duffel bag, bro, it's like 2,800. What the fuck? But in London, it's like, oh, I'm it's like 14. At, uh, I'm looking at the. The, You're looking at the top custom top stitch. Top yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want none of that stupidness. I just want a simple LV. That's not crazy. I want the monogram, you know, the XL. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, or That's is the XL, one. whatever. That's what I want. I yeah, just want it. <laughs> no, but, um, and then the Rolly, I don't blame you. I think that's a manly kind of purchase. Yeah, that's just like. I'm that's like when a girl wants like a, like a high-end bag. It's like us. Yeah. Static. So I don't, I, I mean, that's not bad. But at a point, you wanted some other shit. Like, when we met, you wanted some crazy shit. Oh, yeah, of course. You wanted everything. You more wanted, that. I wanted... You wanted the full... I wanted to buy it all. Yeah, yeah. I were. bought two MCM backpacks in the same day. Dog, I Because I could. <laughs> Around two. Yeah, I just bought <laughs> you, them I could. You bought one. Uh, Sneakerhead and Bay bought one. And David bought one. Uh, yeah. And you bought... I bought two. That was insane. bought a black one and a white one. And where are they now? In my, yeah, I still use them. I mean, when you're buying designer, it's it's somewhat worth it because it lasts long. Yeah. As far as bags. I have an MCM wallet. I don't like it, but they gave it to me. Shout out to my friend Mark. Really? He gave it to me for my birthday. Oh. Do I like this shit? I hate doing this. I like anyway. I hate doing this. Taking your wallet out? I hate doing that because it's like, hey, look, I have an expensive art like piece of shit. See, I have a simple wallet that just. No, mine was from the swap me before this. It was mm-hmm. a clip. Yeah, it's a regular wallet. It's pretty nice. And it's like, it, it you know, I love it because my friend Mark gave it to me, but does it make me different? I really just wanted to swap me car holder. And yeah, I would have been no, fine. I but this is like, if I go like, here's the thing. So I'm a DJ, right? And if I'm DJing and I go to the bar before I go on or whatever, and I pull this out to pull out tip when I do have cash when I go out and I do this, there's girls looking at me like, like this is flashy to them. Yeah, no, of course. Any type of designer. That's but that's the problem with everyone is they're brain they're just brainwashed to like, ooh, is that LV? Is that MCM? Is that Gucci? I, they must got some. Yeah, I know, and I don't have nothing. So I'm just saying, it was just one of those things. Was just like yeah, I have this, but it was a gift. Did I go personally buy it? No, I think it cost like four to five hundred bucks. I appreciate the gesture, but I could have lived without it. Yeah. But I just want to say that we go back to when we were two years younger, what we really wanted. Oh, I was, I, I, it's funny, you wanted it all, and I was over everything. Yeah. And it was one that was like, I had gone through a breakup recently after that, no, a little bit before that, not even a year before that, and I noticed that a lot of shit didn't mean anything. And that's what I was trying to embed to you. But going back to that, um, no, I did try to embed some things from myself to you, but you can skip that five year period of you trying to learn everything. Yeah. I'm like, nah, Mike, look, listen, we gotta invest in the house. You gotta buy property. Don't buy the Mercedes. I told you not to buy the Mercedes, but I did tell you to buy the scat pack. <laughs> but I was like, don't buy the Mercedes. And you're like, nah, I deserve this. And I was like, well, go ahead and get it. Don't make you different from the little There's hamster. There's a bug over there, bro. I'm sorry. I just saw that. Who cares? <laughs> I grew up in the hood. <laughs> if a rat will pass by through here, I'm like, okay, cool. Dude, I had skunks pass in front of me, so it doesn't really quite matter. But I told you, like, don't get the Mercedes. Don't get this. Keep the hamster truck. What was it called? The Kia Soul. The Kia Soul. Keep the hamster truck. And just stay there. And you're like, nah. Yeah, I'm nah. a businessman. I gotta get the Mercedes. And Y'all like, better know. Why does this young kid drive this Sadie's? I kind of see it, though, because I drive my car. Not as high as yours, but it's pretty nice. But you feel good, right? Every time I you get into I enjoy my it. car. Exactly. And I feel like that's the point. If you're going to be making that monthly payment on something, I gotta pay it tomorrow. But, yeah, no, nah, I love my car. It's one of the greatest investments and in cool shit I ever did. And... Like, okay, for example, the car. I didn't really need the car. I had the truck. He saw my truck. But I remember I went, I was like, fuck this. My credit score was like an 800 at the time. And I was like, man, fuck this. I'm going to go buy a car. So I grabbed my father, which is still a working man. He's 54 years old. And he does like handyman and 
construction and plumbing work and all this crazy shit. And he's 54 years old. But at that time, he was like 52. So I was like, yo, dad, get in the car. Let's go buy a car. He's like, what? I was like, get in the car. Let's go buy a car. I already had done the whole credit union, got the whole check. Everything I had the, 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 yeah, the loan and everything. So I was just going to go buy a fucking car. I didn't do it because I wanted the car. I did it because my father, when I turned 18, he didn't buy me anything. He made me go get a credit card to start up on my credit score. Kids don't know about the credit score. Yeah, and I've made plenty of videos at this point. And it's a ve- and there's this is documented. You didn't even ask him. Kai's two years ago didn't have no credit. He never had a credit card. At that time, he was probably 27 years old. And I said, "Yo, dog, you need credit." I put him up on game. First credit card he wanted to grab was Best Buy. I think there's a video on it too. Yeah. Now I don't know how good his credit, but I know he's gonna buy a house soon. So that probably helped him. Me pushing him to get that credit card at Best Buy, buying the lens for his camera. And it's I, my credit. My dad told me get your credit scored up, get your credit scored up. So it wasn't the car wasn't the cool shit to get. It was taking my father that helped me get the credit score to where I was at, and always all my shit about the credit score. And be like, yo, dad, pick a car. Mm-hmm. I let my dad pick the car. And he drove it and he likes driving it. And he, I did it for that moment. Even though, like, it's funny because, you know, I'm Mexican and my dad is Mexican. He was in his work clothes. And this guy, we arrived, I kind of get it. It was like 8.56 and it closed at 9. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, I'm trying to buy a car. Oh and he God. was like, he's a white guy. And he was like, what the fuck? What you, I know. I was like, come on. I'm like, I'm going to buy a car from you. He was like, no, 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 you don't waste my time. I was like, dog, I have the check. I have, like, the cash here. Mm -hmm. You ain't got, like, I'm going to buy a car. And he looked at me crazy. And, you know, I was telling my cousin this story earlier. But it was just one of those things where it was just like, they looked at me funny because I'm Mexican and we're minority. And even you as a black guy. I'm sure you look that. You, they look at you funny, like oh, you. Know, what the fuck are you doing here, at the Mercedes Benz dealer? One of my most viewed videos on this. Channel. Hold on, let me finish. Right. I know what he's really talking about. So then, to the guys, like he didn't even try to let me test drive the fucking car. I had to like pressure him to like. I'm like, yo, come on, like you. I'm a customer. Yeah. And then when I'm trying to like hit the gas in my car because there's a sports car, he's like, whoa, 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 don't go that fast. I'm like, dog, there's nobody around. Like, it's a clear fucking avenue. And, um, and yeah. And it was just like, so when the, he starts doing the paperwork and he runs my credit score, and he's like, what the fuck? Yo, do you ever own a house? I'm like, no. And then he's like, do you want to give a down payment? And my dad had like, like t- two to four grand for how much. He had money, my money in his pocket, and he pulled down and put it on the table, and he tried to give that as a down payment. I'm like, nah, dad, hold on to that. Because he was like, the guy was already giving us, like, the looks. So when I paid this fucking car off then and there in the spot, and he made a commission out of me, he felt stupid afterward. Yeah. Because I'm like, just because it was, the moment was me buying a car with my dad. And my dad chose the car. He chose the color, everything. But... It's just one of those moments. It's like the car didn't, I didn't need the car, but it was a cool moment. My immigrant father had a chance to buy a car from the dealer, like full pay, and he didn't have to worry about shit. Yeah. And not only he did it, but his son did it. Like he came over here, he crossed the border, risked his life. He was homeless for two weeks or so. He lived in the back of a car in a Pinto. If you don't know what a Pinto is, Google it. It's a small fucking car. And he lived that, and to give me a better life, to give my brother and my sister a better life. And that was the whole thing. That was the moment. The moment was getting the car with my dad after he did the whole credit when I was 18. Yeah. And it's the same thing that goes to your, your story, which is your, one of your most watched videos of what happened. Yeah. I mean, I went to a dealership trying to buy a new Range Rover, and <laughs> they didn't give me a time of day. They laughed at you. Yeah. They didn't even talk to me. They didn't even say hello, welcome. Really sky pack. Pack was Mercedes, though, they treated me amazing. They massaged your feet. Bro, they had my YouTube videos playing while they were doing the paperwork. Okay, I don't have YouTube videos for sure. The guy was an asshole. To me. I'm just saying, like. But again, it made you. It wasn't about the materialistic at that point. It was just 
the accomplishment you got. Of course, yeah. It's like, oh, this is mine. Let me get the keys. I remember, bro. I remember getting in my car and like hitting my chest. Like, this what is was me, the first song bro. you bumped? Oh man, it was. I'm gonna uh, tell you my first song because it was so vivid. Mine, mine was corny, bro. But it was. Uh, it was, it was corny legend. Song. It was legend Started by Drake. From here. No, no, it was. It was legend. It was legend by Drake. Oh, legend. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, mine was a uh, guap by Big Sean. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Was That's banger. Funny. Like, oh. Yeah, bro. I was like, this is me. Like, oh, I was you so hyped. You feel so good. Bro. I was so hyped. Like, but, talk about accomplishment. That was a good mine too. But it was just one of those. I fought you because I was like, yo, don't spend that much money. <laughs> like, I was like, that's... No, but weren't you texting me a couple days? Hey, man, how much was that? I, I might want to get one. Yeah, because then I like, man, she's pretty nice. Yeah, <laughs> but it was... but I, you know, I got over it. I was yeah. like, man, I love my car, but I love your car, too. It's nice. But it's it, just man. one of those things which is like... My, the, the more of the story for me is like... I learned this at a young age. Like, money is not everything. That shit comes and goes. Like, everything... Like, everything in life... It comes and goes. It doesn't go with you. But, you know, the way you touch people, no, like, not in an offensive way, like, with your life and your stories. Inspire. Inspire. That shit goes a long way. Yeah. Like, and I got something like that from you. And I still, a little here and there, get noticed. I got noticed by a cop the other day, by the way. That shit was crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he came up to me like, he was about to do something. And he came up to me. It was, it was funny. It was right in front of the crossover. And I was standing there, and the cop walks up to me like, with authority, and he walks up like straight in my face, and he goes, "Yo, you from YouTube, huh?" And I was like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Yo, don't be walking up to me like that." <laughs> like, like it was funny, but he's like, "Yeah, no, I liked it because you did your shit." Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. And shout out to hey, I mean, shout out to him. I don't want to say his name, but you know, shout out to. No, I mean that's what's up. I mean that's that's the kind of stuff that's just like. But no, I, one thing I did notice from you because I still get recognized sometimes. You pause the moment. And you ask these kids, what was your name? Where you from? And you get to know these kids. And I've never, I'm nobody, no offense to anybody, but not fucking Kais, not fucking Sneaker Hannah Bay, not David, not even myself, not Tony, not, I, nobody like gets to do that. And I would see that and I was like, yo, I'm gonna start doing that. Cause the kids feel more important and like they really know you. Cause they see you every fucking day probably. And now they see you and you're like, oh shit, he's. You know, my idol really is the nice person. Like, I met my idols, and sometimes they're a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's... My whole thing is, like, we're all normal, and if you're going to take the time to ask me for a picture or anything, I'm going to ask you for your name. Yeah. Where are you from? Like, I don't want... That's weird. Like, I hate when people come up and take a picture with me and run. Like, picture, choo, out. It's like, what the? What, what are you going to do? Name, bro? Well, what, right. are you, what are you going to do with that picture? Like, why don't I know your name? Even if I forget it, at least I asked. No. Yeah, yeah I learned that from you because it makes it feel more. And me and Jordan from Crossover, just the Crossover, at Cosmopolitan, come through at Crossover C R S V R. I don't know. It's turned into an ad. Ad. Bow. Boom. Boom. Hashtag boom. Ad. ad FCC Jordan's World. face right here. And <laughs> so Jordan, me and Jordan spoke about that. I was like, He's, Cause Jordan didn't know you. Y'all yeah. met through me, and well, he kind of knew you, but he was like, "Yo, Mike seems cool." I'm like, "Go up to him. He's a nice guy." He was kind of scared. That's when we Facetimed you. Yeah. At the shop that one time, and it, I mean, it was cool after that. Y'all hung out at Santa Monica mm -hmm. and did the little scooter shit. <laughs> Mad sus. <laughs> but no, but he was he was like, "No, Mike seems like a nice person." And then he goes, "Yo," and then after you hung out with him, I guess somebody recognized you a few times. And he's like, yo, he like talks to his people. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, he asks people their names and like where they're from. He gets to know them for those quick two minutes. I'm like, yeah, I learned that from Mike. He goes, dude, that's like the coolest shit ever. <laughs> he goes, that makes people feel more important. Yeah. You know? And I give you guys a lot of shit. I give Jordan so much shit. If he ever watches this, I brought, I go in, I'm like, yo, my name was Mike, and I was a YouTuber, you would answer my call. <laughs> but I just give him help, but I love the guy to death. Yeah. But it's the same thing. I tell you, you have bullshit, and I, and I clown on you, but, you know, sometimes I get sensitive, <laughs> which is funny, but you, and you sub this me on Twitter last time, and you told yeah. me that was for you, and I was like, yeah. well, I thought you knew time. it was for you. You liked it, so I was like. No, I was just like, you're right, Mike. Like, recognize. <laughs> what did I have to say for you to say that? You said people love to dish it out, but hate it when it comes to Because we were just talking about something else. I was like, all right, Jamie. 
you're gonna fire at me, I'm gonna fire back. And he liked it, I'm like, he appreciated my fire back, so it's all good. <laughs> I didn't know it was you firing at me, no, but, ah, just a little bit. Nah, but even with us, like, we keep it too real. Yeah. You had low point moments where you called me, like, yo, listen, this, 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 and that. I feel this, I feel that. And I've had the same moments where I call you, and yeah. I'm like, yo, Mike, it's that fucking time, bro. I was depressed, and, and. We all go through it. I mean, it's nothing new. I think But you know important. what's crazy now, and not to bash anybody, but now, like, the mental health is a big thing. Yeah. But when we were kind of going, we went through it, there was not really nobody talking about it. No. Like, there was nobody. It was never publicized. Now, now people are like, oh, Kanye West, mental health. I'm like, dog, yo, should have listened to Joe Budden's three fucking last albums and Kit Cudi and fucking who else? Like, even Childish Gambino and... You know, Everyone goes through it, though. I feel like... Oh but my, now it's like a big thing. Yeah. Like, Logic made a huge song about suicide, and it was That's just true. like... I'm like, y'all should have seen Kid Cudi's first two fucking albums, and the soundtrack to my life. If y'all ever get a chance to listen to that song, I love that record. Uh, Joe Budden, Joe Budden, Only Human, Runaway, uh, All In My Head. Skeletons, all those songs helped me out so fucking much. And it's just like, those people dish, people hate Joe Budden. People are like, yo, he's corny, he's a hater. Y'all don't know his music, like his catalog of music. Y'all should go l listen to that. Because it got me through breakups, it got me through mental shit, it got me through life, all that shit. And I mm -hmm. met Joe Budden last week, by the way. So yeah. Joe Budden. <laughs> yeah. I, if you want, I'll tell the story, but it's pretty funny. Yeah, good. Um, you know what? Nah, fuck all right. Go listen to our podcast. He's <laughs> sitting up all a right. podcast. I'm dropping at night, by the way. Um, nah, but yeah. That was mainly it. That It was like people an hour, like, mental health is a big thing. Even Fousey's, people are saying Fousey's going through mental shit. He's always been going through it. But he's always been going through it. Yeah. And. I guess, like, just the moral of the story is, like, you just all been out here grinding and you just go through a lot and it's Fuck, it's shit time. A lot of people think they're going through it by themselves and they, Now you have a good support system. Oh no, no, I know that. I'm just saying there are. I I made it very aware to people like, yo, if you're going through something, DM me, bro. I got so many DMs. I got five hundred DMs. Responded to every single there's so many people going through stuff and no, they're not alone. Is there like something you wish you could do or you have something in mind? where you can help people in a larger base, in a larger mass? No. You don't think there's nothing? No, nah, the only thing that I can do for people is to be myself, to get this camera and show my life and talk about my own personal problems because they can relate to them, mm -hmm. and also just have my DMs open. That's all I can do. I can't do any more than that. And I think you can do more. I can't. There's no way. I think there's one thing you can do. And I've been telling you to do this for a long time. I told you to do a podcast. And if you do a podcast relating to the people where people can call in and give you, yo, listen, Mike, I'm going through this, da 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 and you're going through each problem. Instant feedback? I mean, but it's, it's the same concept. It's the same thing as live. Yeah. Or just DM, video. Yeah, it feels more personal. It's all the same. Call you and you're like, oh, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Help, help people, shit. Y'all yeah, tell true, me. Yeah, true, true. Comment down below. This fucking video is long. Still, still the camp. Oh yeah, it's damn near like thirty minutes. Yeah, y'all gonna hate us. Be like, wow, y'all talk to wild shit. <laughs> no, but this is the whole base. This is like a podcast. Yeah. It was like the the, the, ca the camera cut off once, but it's like yeah, it's just like two friends talking, catching up, and y'all really gotta look at the first video. To make this video understand. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're all over, but if you watch the first video, you'll really understand. Like, And this isn't the end. This is part two. Maybe we'll have a part three. We'll see. Oh, we will have a part three. But I want to get... Any questions? Yeah. I would want to get Jordan from Crossover in here because he kind of... like it, It's the outside looking in part. Yeah. And I think that's where we need to take it up a notch because obviously we're in the classic one camera. I feel like that's the point where we all need mics and. Oh, me and Jordan think we. I want to say what me and Jordan been working on a bunch. Well, not yet, but we thought about doing a bunch of shit, cause he said he's so good, he's a dope person, he's so good like at talking.
Dude, we thought about doing food, like going, because we live in Vegas. So in Vegas, you have fucking everything you can think of. Yeah. Like every restaurant, everything. You have the Wahlburgers, you have Shake Shack, in and out all shit. So we're like, yo, we should go to this place, we should go to this place, and compare each other. Da -da 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 -da. And then we're like, oh, we should do a podcast. We're just talking shit about us at the shop and real life shit about what we go through as guys. Like we even talk, I forgot what the fuck we talked. Like the first time we ever got head and shit like that. Like just experiments that I'm sure kids go through and they, they probably don't have somebody to speak to about. Because I'm kind of like, outside of my brother that already asked me like 500 questions, but I have other dudes that hit me up that are like cool with me that hit me up that are like I'm a big brother like my like the homie Miguel yeah. well looks exactly like me mm -hmm. he called me a few times scared about you know some encounters he had with a female and how he should go about relationship you know even like Dude, I'm like scared. It's my first time. Like I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, I mean, people are always looking for someone. And it's like, like that. I, you know, and it just what the fuck? Oh yeah, so me and Drew, we 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 have those conversations in the shop where we kind of discuss things. We discuss new music like you do. You do like first, what is it? Reaction to yeah, whatever, reaction, yeah. and we do the same thing. Like, dude, we if you were to see our live reaction to when we heard Duppy freestyle in the shop, because he told me he's like download it now. And I'm the DJ, and I'm like, dee, 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 dee. we put it up, and when we heard Drake said, if I had a virgin on my team, like, I, would, I wouldn't hate him flourishing. We were like, yo, rewind that? We were just struck, bro. It was like, the, that shit was crazy that day. But, nah, yeah, I think the outside looking in would be great for Jordan, um, because he saw all that shit go through. He told me, he's like, yo, I saw this, I saw that. Yeah. And now that he's friends with us, he's like, Y'all like regular. <laughs> but nah, shout out to Jordan, Monica. Yeah, no. Jordan Bell. Monica Benny. Sauce. Monica the Sauce. Shout she out to them all. We should, we're, we're going to run some more of these. We'll see how this one does, but. Shout out to Monica for calling me thirsty. Because I said, who's that girl? <laughs> she had a cute friend on one of her snaps. I said, yo, who's that girl? Wow, you're thirsty. I'm Seriously? like, Monica. I said, when? Where? <laughs> I'm not gonna say who. There's a specific girl that who? I'm pointing out, and I can't say it. I bet I know who it is. I probably, but if she got me thirsty, she's like, "Yo, you thirsty?" But I love Monica. Monica's, Monica's like so a funny. homie, like one of the yeah, homies. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Mad cool. I saw that video when y'all went to Starbucks. Oh my god, bro! When she tried to, them trash girls try to play me. Dude, and the funniest thing is, Monica says, and Jordan was there. She goes, she's talking about. Like, he has, yeah, the guy with the yellow. He has big, juicy lips. I was like, Monica. Well, it was supposed to be Jordan, though. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but she said that about Jordan. I was like, yo, Monica, Jordan's right there. The other yeah, Jordan's right yeah. there. <laughs> I'm like, yo, she's fucking funny as shit. She's wild for that, but oh, she's funny, man. I, it would be cool to Those have Those girls are fucking, like, weird. Trash. They were, they were sticking their tongue out at me. Why? When they, they got in their Uber and drove off, and the girl was like, Mm-hmm. Like, bitch. <laughs> you, were, you were at a Starbucks. <laughs> I'm not concerned you about you. Using the Wi-Fi. Yeah, like, you're bugging. You so. wild trash. You moved from, like, Oklahoma trying to be a, a fucking actor. Bro, more like Utah. You, <laughs> that was giving benefits. <laughs> I was like, Oklahoma, you know? Uh, they have a good basketball team. Street Utah. Utah, bro. But that's the catch-up, man. Thanks, Mike. And this was like on call. Like I was like, yo, grab your shit. That's how I do it. Come man. down. I'm <laughs> Sorry, always, Mary. I'm always just a call away, guys. Always remember that. <laughs> you dipped on Mary for me. <laughs> I was like, oh. Yeah, Mary's here visiting. I haven't even shown I was like, I, oh, I was like, I don't want you to leave. I'm like, it's cool. I'm like, okay, it's only going to take a minute. I got to shoot content, bro. But what time is it? Fuck it. Almost one. All right, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Stay tuned. Can I put my socials? Follow Jamie the Great. Yeah, all his socials will be down below. DA Great, Reflections of a DJ Podcast, Road Podcast. We're blowing up. We get 10,000 worldwide listens a week. It's fucking amazing. Uh, I think this one that's coming out tomorrow is fucking hilarious. It's one of the funniest shit I ever did in my life. And then the Joe Budden uh, stories on the podcast. All right. Gang, gang, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We out, bro. Silver Lake Boys. I mean, Silver Lake Boy.
Who Colorado. from uh, Colorado. Shout out to the 303. <laughs> no one to guide me.